Hi, welcome back. In this video, I have two recommendations for you for your Google Classroom stream. So let's take a look at the stream. I have a new Google Classroom here, and I didn't change any of the settings in this new Google Classroom for the stream. And what happens is, as soon as I create an assignment, and I post that assignment, it will show up in the stream like this. And as you post more assignments, they will start to clutter your stream. And then what happens is the students won't be able to see your announcements that you've posted there. You can move the announcements around. If you click here, it'll say move to top. But really what we want to do is try to get the students to click on classwork to see their assignments and not depend on the stream. So what I recommend is you go up here to the cog for settings and you click that. And you want to go down to this area where you have stream and classwork on the stream. So the first thing we can look at is we just discussed classwork on the stream. Again, these are my recommendations. You're free to set these in different ways and try them out, see what works best for you. I'm going to click this drop down arrow right here, and I'm going to change this to hide notifications on the stream. And then we'll take a look at what that stream looks like afterwards. Any changes that you make, you got to make sure you hit save in the upper right hand corner. But before I do that, there's one other thing that I recommend that you, you change, and that is the stream. And I personally would rather just have myself posting on this stream and not have students post or comment. So for me, I'm going to click this drop down arrow and I'm going to click on only teachers can post or comment. Now that I'm done with those changes, I'm going to go up here and click save. Now if we look at the stream, you can see I only have the announcements showing up and that's what I want. The classwork is still under classwork and that's where they'll find the assignments instead of seeing those assignments on the stream. So those are my two recommendations for your Google Classroom stream. If you have any questions, you can email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Until next video, take care.